Hey guys, so this is part two of our ongoing coverage of Axelum. In this video, I'm showing you what happened during the investors briefing that happened here in Shangri-La, Makati. So you get a glimpse of what happens during an investors meeting. And so you get also information coming from the company itself on whether you should buy or avoid the company. So check this video out. Hi everyone, this is Marvin Germon. I make daily videos on the stock market with one goal in mind, to help you reach your goals of financial freedom, that you can use the stock market to reach for your dreams. You can use the stock market as a tool to leverage and make your money grow. So if you're new to this channel, subscribe, smash that bell so you get updated every time I produce new content about the stock market. So what I'm gonna show you guys is raw, unedited, uncut versions of the investor's briefing. Uh, that happened here in Shangri-La. So what you're gonna see here is speakers coming from Axelum itself talking about the company, talking about details on how good the company is, where it's headed, uh, details, numbers of the company in PowerPoint format. And I must say, you know, I've been attending investor briefings for over a decade now. This is one of the first times I've, so I've seen a lot of people attend. It was literally standing room only. You normally don't see that uh, for stock market events. You normally see uh, standing room only for uh, events, entertainment packages where a lot of Filipinos get entertained and enjoy. But it's nice to see more and more Filipinos getting into the thick of things. So it's nice to see more people uh, getting interested on investing it's nice to see more filipinos uh, taking the time also to learn and educate themselves more on investments that they will uh, put themselves into so in this video they will discuss certain items certain topics certain numbers that i did not discuss in the first video that i hope you stay to the end until you see what they discuss so you get a more holistic idea on what's happening in the company so at any point in time if you like the company itself comment axelum below so at least i know if you're getting value off of the information that's there so enjoy the video with the philippines as the second largest coconut producer of the world the fast growing coconut industry driven by global trends towards health and wellness and the company's growing product suite and increasing efficiency axelum is well positioned for the next stage of growth Investors can participate in Axelum's growth story through the IPO and by investing in stock. This will be the only pure play coconut business listed on the Philippine Stock Exchange. And the IPO will reinforce rep Axelum's reputation as a local company with global reach. And as you heard, it's not just the coconut. And it is our fervent hope that Axelum's story inspires you to do just that. Boom. From the start, Axelum was set up and run by the employee owners. After 30 years, we continue to run the day-to-day -day operations of the company. More importantly, over the last seven to se five to seven years, we have put in place, nurtured and mentored, highly qualified team of high and middle management employees who will one day take our places and ensure the continuation and growth of the company. Our main factory is located in northern Mindanao. We buy 600 to 600,000 pieces of coconuts a day from farmers and traders located within a 200 kilometer radius from our factory. This area accounts for approximately 35% of the total Philippine harvest of coconut. While 600 to 650,000 pieces of coconut per day may seem may seem like a big number, this only represents 8 to 12 percent of the total coconut harvest in our area. We can easily buy more coconuts as our production runs up, given, a, given our expansion plans. We buy our coconuts directly from farmers as well as from traders. To ensure we are aware of the overall supply situation, we get the best price and get best of best prices. We have set up eight company-owned buying stations throughout our buying areas in Mindanao. This allows us to buy more coconuts directly from the source and thus keep our buying prices very competitive. As mentioned also earlier, because we produce the full range of coconut products, we are most, more cost competitive than others who only produce two to three coconut products. 
As such, we are able to convert more parts of the coconut into revenue-generating products compared to our competitors who must throw away part of the coconut they cannot process and sell. That said, our, we ourselves also do not use the full potential of the coconut. We constantly innovate to come up with new products that can make use of the parts of the coconut that we throw away as waste. With some of the proceeds of the IPO, we plan to set up new manufacturing facilities for new products that can make use of the coconut water we are currently throwing away. We also, we constantly strive to move into new products that are of higher value and more profitable. For example, when we first started, we produced only desiccated coconut and coconut milk powder. Over the years, desiccated coconut has turned into a semi-commoditized product produced by many people. Using the same white meat raw materials, we are now producing coconut milk powder, which fetches higher selling prices. Using some of the IPO proceeds, we plan to add manufacturing capabilities that will enable us to expand into other more higher value products for use by our current and future buyers in the production of coconut coffee creamer, diet food ingredients, and beauty products. Here in the Philippines, we know new or buho as generic products with nothing special about it. However, in the export market, we serve, especially North America, North and South America and Europe. Coconuts are viewed as exotic and healthy products for which people pay premium prices. As we mentioned earlier, by nature, coconut is dairy free and gluten free. And given local farming practices, our coconuts are also GMO free and organic for certain parts we source from. Given the overall consumer trends towards healthier living and eating, our global market, market for coconut is growing. <clears throat> to grow the company over the next few years, we are looking to do the following. First, we will expand our distribution network so we can generate markets we are current we can penetrate markets we are currently not serving and to deepen our presence in the market that we are already in. In the Philippines, we are only currently selling our products in Metro Manila and portion of the zone. We plan to expand into the Visayas and Mindanao by appointing distribution partners in key cities in Visayas and Mindanao. Overseas, we have distribution hubs in Atlanta and Melbourne. We plan to set up similar hubs in Portland to serve the U.S. West Coast and Canada, South America, and Europe. Aside from expanding our distribution capabilities, we can also sell more. We will, we will also scale up our manufacturing capabilities so we can produce more to meet the growing global demand for coconut products. Additional equipment will enable us to expand operating hours of our existing plants, thus boosting production without the need for large-scale plant expansion. Other additional equipment will, have, will allow our existing plant to produce new products we do not currently process, such as concentrated coconut water, fresh coconut water, and other coconut-based products. Depending on fi finding suitable targets that would be a good fit for Axilum, we may expand distribution and manufacturing non-organically but by acquiring other companies. We will also seek to expand our private label business. Currently, we do private label business in the U.S. market for our white, white meat products. We can replicate this in other markets where grocery chains or, or so-called modern trade, uh, modern trade formats are dominant retail channels. This includes Europe and South America. Alternatively, in the U.S. market, we can offer our existing white label clients other products for them to white label, such as, but not limited to, coconut water. Most of the proceeds of the IPO, most of the proceeds of the IPO, of our IPO, will be used to facilitate our expansion plans. 
our immediate priority will be to use some of the proceeds to expand our domestic and international distribution network to increase the company's volume of sales. Next in line will be to expand our manufacturing capabilities so we can address bottlenecks as we expand production and to enable us to produce new products that we currently do not have at scale, but we know a bread in markets we can easily serve. These include products such as concentrated coconut water, fresh coconut, and coconut coffee creamer. We will also use some of the proceeds to pay down loans and payables to reduce our financing costs. Farther down the line, we will acquire companies that can further enhance our sales and manufacturing capabilities. The timing of such acquisition will depend on finding good acquisition targets with synergies and business plans and management uh, models that fit well with Axelum. Prior to 2016, the company known as Axelum was only involved in coconut water. Our other products and the operations overseas were housed in various other sister companies. In 2016 and 2017, in order to bring everything under one roof, so to speak, for eventual IPO, the businesses of these sister companies were folded into Maximum Resources Corporation. That accounted for the most that, that accounted for most of the jump in revenues from 2016 to 2017. From 2017 to 2018, revenues looked flat, only increasing by 2%. However, volumes in terms of liters and pounds of products sold actually increase. This is not apparent in the sales figures because some of our selling price, prices declined as a result of the decline in the global oil, global oil prices such as palm oil, palm kernel oil, soya oil, and other oils in the global market, including coconut oil. That said, the selling price of some of our finished products, particularly desiccated coconut, declined by much less than the decline in the cost of the raw materials. So as, so as a result, profitability actually increased, both in absolute terms and marginal terms, as we can that can be seen in the graph of the right. <coughs> Back in 2015, when Axelum corporate, corporate entity was most involved in coconut water, a high margin product, profit margins were relatively high. Profit margins as a percentage declined the following year as our other products and operations were folded into Axelum. Axelum entity, but profits as an absolute amount increased. After that, percentage margins steadily improved. This was due to several factors, but notable among them is the fact that coconut water is our fastest growing product. It is also one of the most profitable products. So as coconut water accounts for an ever larger proportion of our product needs, our overall profitability improved. Summarized here are some of the highlights from our balance sheets and, most pro most of, and some profitability <coughs> measures. Noteworthy is the fact that the company has very minimal debt. Much of our debt is in the form of working capital financing to support sales. Historically, the company borrowed very minimally. In fact, most of our past expansions and plant improvements were financed using internally generated cash. <coughs> Going forward, we intend to continue to be prudent with our balance sheet and take on financing risks only when the expected returns justify them. <clears throat> Just to segue a little on our corporate social responsibility program. <clears throat> We are the single biggest employer in Medina, Misamis Oriental. We have about 5,700 workers. Most of its people, most of our people rely on the company for their livelihood. As such, we are very much ingrained into our community. We provide support for our, to our neighbors through projects focusing on livelihood, education, and health. Like cervical cancer treatment, college scholarship, 
test the employable skills training and for other also like live youth training program that trains our farmers in growing crops organically so that they can sell their produce at higher prices. We also support numerous scholars to uplift the community to better education. To give you our, over the past eight years, no? over the past eight years, export by Philippine coconut, the exports by the Philippine coconut industry has grown by comparative annual growth rate or CAGR of 12 and a half percent. Traditional coconut products such as copra and crude coconut oil grew by CAGR of 11 percent. Non-traditional products, on the other hand, grew at 25 percent. Most of the company's product fall into this non-traditional category. This include our production of coconut water, coconut milk, coconut cream, and others. Because of our bountiful supply of coconut, the Philippines dominates the export market for coconut products. The Philippines is one of the biggest exporters of desiccated coconut and has a dominant presence in the U.S., Canada, Netherlands, UK, and Australia. Currently, Absolute has its own in-house distribution network which supplies the U.S., Canada, South America, and Australia. We are looking to expand this into other markets using some of the process of our IPO. As mentioned earlier, Absalom's two largest products are desiccated coconut and coconut water. According to recent study by the University of Asia and Pacific, over the next five years, the annual growth in desiccated coconut is expected to be in the high single digits. And the growth in coconut water is expected to be in the mid to high teens. Axelum's other product lines are likewise in sectors expected to achieve double digit growth rates over the next few years. The high growth rates are driven by global trends towards healthier eating. By their nature, Coconut are dairy and gluten free. Given the farming practices in Northern Mindanao where we are, the coconuts we process are likewise GMO free and a growing portion of them organic. Growth in coconut products are also driven by new applications of the coconut. Whereas before, coconut are, were mainly used for cooking ingredients or converted into cooking oil. Today, Coconuts are used to produce juices, coffee creamer, sweeteners, cocktail mixes, dairy replacement products, and others. We are even starting to see coconuts being used in the production of personal care products and pharmaceutical. We now discuss the investment highlights of the Axelum. A few of these points we have already covered earlier, such as international network of customers <coughs> and our multiple quality certifications. Over the, over the past couple of decades, we have, been seen, we have seen a resurgence in agriculture and agri-manufacturing as a result of increase in global trade. As supply lines have lengthened, companies such as Hershey's, Unilever, and others, our client, now source their ingredients globally. Even groceries have globalized our supply chains with U.S. chains buying products directly from us to put into their shelves. Absolum has ridden the globalization wave and sells to the biggest names and brands all over the world. We are very much ingrained in our customer supply chains. As they continue to grow, we will grow along with them. We have a manufacturing facility and North American distribution hub suggests white meat products into retail size packages that are placed in the grocery shelves and purchased by individual persons for cooking and basic and baking at home. Absolute, on the other hand, also buys virgin coconut oil and coconut cooking oil from other manufacturers in Malaysia, Sri Lanka, and the Philippines and repacks them in jars for sale in the U.S. under the white label of major supermarket chains. 
Absalom also buys canned coconut milk from other Asian countries to sell also in white label of major U.S. supermarket chains. Here are the samples of how our products get used. Desiccated coconut is used mainly in baking and the manufacture of chocolate bars and snack products. Coconut milk powder is the main ingredient that goes into the manufacture of curry and other food mixes. Axulum's other major product is coconut water. Axulum's coconut water production is taken up by its anchor customer, Vita Coco, and other well-known private label brands such as Kirkland, which is the in-house brand of Costco chain in the United States. Last year, the company produced approximately 25 million liters of coconut water. Coconut water is one of the fastest growing beverages in the global market today. The company has a wide and deep portfolio of customers worldwide, many of whom we have been serving for over 20 years. Some of our customers are manufacturers who buy our products in bulk to use them in their factories. This included the largest global brands such as Hershey's, Cadbury, Unilever, and Kraft Heinz. Other customers are more retail focused, such as grocery chains who white label our products to sell under their own brands. Currently, white label, uh, we white label for around for 25 out of the 72 top U.S. grocery chains in the United States. The bulk of our products are exported. Export accounts for about 88% of the absolute total sales on a yearly basis. The company has dozens of quality product certifications that enable us to sell to the demanding customers in the export market. These certifications are not easy to get nor to maintain. To keep these certifications, the company undergoes around 28 to 29 annual audits. Without these certifications, one cannot sell to the likes of Unilever and Hershey's. These certifications are a significant barrier to entry to our would-be competitors. Axulum is the largest exporter and only fully integrated manufacturer of premium coconut products. Because of our wide product range, we are more profitable than other competitors who are able to produce only two to three products using the same coconut. We have a global distribution network catering to major markets around the world, such as the United States, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, Europe, the Middle East, Japan, and major countries in Asia. Our production capabilities are highly scalable. Current facilities and equipment are underutilized, enabling us to ramp up production as we pursue new markets. Axulum has been accredited with various certifications conforming to world-class industry standards. This allows us to sell to the best brands and customers all over the world. And 3% moisture to produce desiccated coconut. Or we can squeeze the milk out of the white meat to produce either the liquid coconut milk or the coconut milk powder. What is left now is the coconut water that we produce and pack under white cocoa. However, only 60% of the coconut water we're now packing, the other 40%, I will relate to you later, what we're going to do uh, to that other 40% to make it a revenue generating product as well. As you will note, nothing in the raw materials that we're using is wasted. Everything is converted into a revenue generating uh, products. What you see here are the deep, uh, of these, Axelon's two largest products are desiccated coconut which accounts for around 35 to 40% 40, 40 of the sales, and coconut water, which accounts for around 20 to 30% of our sales. The remaining sales are made up by Absolute's other products. 
Uh, briefly on the terms of the offer, during the IPO, Axelon will be selling 1.13 billion shares, which will be equivalent to a little over 28% of total shares after listing. The maximum offer price is 681. The company's market cap at this price will be slightly over 27 billion pesos. As mentioned in the use of proceeds, about 62% or up to 4.8 billion will go to the company. This will be used for their expansion plans mostly, and a smaller portion of the proceeds will be used to pay down some of their liabilities. The remaining 38% of the IPO proceeds, or up to 2.9 billion pesos, will go to the selling shareholder, CP Compass of Singapore. This is a private equity fund that invested in Axelon a few years back in 2017. They will be doing a partial exit during the IPO, selling a little under half their shares that they currently own. Nevertheless, after the IPO, CP Compass will still have a significant minority stake in Axelon of almost 12%. First Metro together with BPI are their underwriters of this IPO. For the timetable, we expect to announce the IPO price on September 20, that's a Monday. Public offer period will soon after will follow soon after from September 24 to September 30th with our target listing for the IPO the first Monday of October, October 7th. So please take note of the dates. Again, we thank you for your time and presence for this afternoon's management presentation for Axelon's initial public offering. Thank you and have a great afternoon and evening. So that's the end of the video. Did you guys like Axelon more based on what the company, what the insiders said about what's happening, their projects, their numbers, their details? Comment below if you like it. If you like this video as well, give me a thumbs up. I want to hear your ideas and what uh, what do you want me to put in more when it, when it comes to Axelum. And let me know what kind of videos do you want me to produce more about Axelum as we head up towards the IPO so you get a larger and bigger conviction whether you should buy the stock or not. Because at the end of the day, you will win in the market if you know what you're getting into and you have a conviction whether you're buying or selling the stock as well. So. Stock Smarts Manila will be this Saturday. I'm excited to see you all. I'm excited to uh, be part of your journey towards trading and investing. So details about it are below with all of the other seminars that I'm having in Cebu, Qatar, uh, Taiwan, Hong Kong, Singapore. And I'll also be in Malaysia this October as well. So that's it for now. For those who also want to have copies of my book, links are down below on how you can order it via Shopee. So this is Marvin Germo teaching you that you can win in the market, showing you that data, information, process properly will help you reach for your goals and will help you trade the markets with confidence. So this is Marvin Germo from Shangri-La Makati. I hope this video helps you trade well, trade strong, trade smart. See you all again soon guys and God bless you all.